All right, so it's a chill Saturday today. I was thinking about going drifting. There's an event down at PBIR, but uh, I've just been driving a lot lately, and I thought it'd be cool to kind of take a weekend off, relax, and just kind of do the dumb stuff that I've been putting off. First thing of which is sticker related. So if you guys remember, we were at, I think it was an OSW event with the R32, and we wound up putting the wrong offset wheels on it, and the wrap kinda got toast. So, uh, I'm gonna kinda show you guys my little ghetto fix for trying to make this look nice again, since this kinda looks like garbage. Uh, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. The problem is there's like rubber underneath here because of when it got burnt, and this vinyl just isn't gonna stick again. So we're gonna have to remove this, and I think what I'm gonna do is put another black piece over it, and just have one little seam line right here. First step is gonna be just removing this black part. Pull the wheel off just so we can get a little bit better workspace. Unfortunately, the paint underneath is pretty toast from all the heat from the rubbing, but at least we got vinyl in this area to cover it. That was kind of intentional by design. I tried to get as clean of a line as I could with the razor here, so that way when I put the black over it, it won't be as like weird looking seeing that layer between the different stickers. Um, I could try to get really fancy and try to like layer it and match it, but um, I just determined that this would be kind of the best way to go about it since I don't have extra red and all the extra other vinyl. This way will probably look the least weird, I think. I actually tried to freehand one layer to try to make the gap between the different layers a little bit less rather than having like a double gap, it'll just be a single gap. So I've got another piece of black now that I got a nice cut on, got it lined up kind of where the old piece went, and I'm just folding the bottom edge over. You'll see this little crease line, but like I said, I think it'll still look better than it did before. Not perfect, but definitely looks a lot better than it did before. Tried to be somewhat uh, clever with my vinyl usage. These bubbles will press out too, I just need a little bit more heat. But um, yeah, this is my quick little ghetto fix. I guess it looks a little bit better than before. I got the nice edge tucked up in there so at least it won't be peeling. And then uh, what I'll probably do is take some WD-40 and go over all this rubber that's stuck all over the car back here. It's kind of the easiest way to get all these smudges and stuff out and make it look nice again. Look how much better that looks now all clean. So good. Wonder if the WD-40 will work on this wheel as well. Try seeing if it takes some of the crap off. Not bad. Might take a little while, but I think we can get it looking better. So there we go, that's the final product with the cleaned up wheel and the fixed livery. We're looking a lot better now. So this is something that I've actually been wanting to do probably for about a week now. Uh, this and putting a seat in the BMW are two things that have been on my list that are like the first car mods I want to do. If you guys have noticed, I haven't worked on a car in like a week because of my back. It's starting to feel a little bit better. Kind of bothered me leaning over uh, for that long of time, both cleaning the wheel and doing the livery, but um, I'm gonna go get some food with Tommy. We're actually gonna go get some ramen. I'm gonna get back, I'm gonna try to install a seat in the BMW, and hopefully it will go smoothly. Got some fenders in the back seat that I picked up from the post office this morning. Unfortunately, uh, since it was submerged in salt water, I'm starting to think not necessarily that it was from rain, but I think salt water got all in my car. Maybe it was close to the edge of the ship and it splashed over because there's so much salt and crap underneath my car and all over stuff pretty high up, so maybe like waves are breaking over. Um, but the amp in this car is shot. I plugged it back in, it doesn't work, so I'm waiting on a new amp. Until then, I have to listen to the car because I don't have speakers. I figured out the no lift shifting pretty well. Check it out. Tommy's been hyping up this ramen spot and really wants me to attest to its authenticity. One thing that I found, I've had a lot of different ramen spots in Japan and in the US, and I kind of find it similar to Chinese food in the US. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but I find it to be a lot more kind of like fatty and flavorful in the US, maybe to our taste, which I like better because I'm a stupid American that likes greasy, dumb foods. Um, I don't know though, maybe this is ignorant of me to say this. So this place doesn't open until 5.30, we've been here since 4.30. People literally line up just to get on the list. We've been playing Cards of Humanity. I've been slaying. Yo, got yeah, right. No, I got two. Tommy's been flexing on strangers. <laughs> I'm catching up with two. He's trying to make himself sound all authentic, talking about all his right-hand drive cars. I got one, it's fine. Technically two, but they don't know about the other one yet. No, no one knows about that one yet. Judging the authenticity of this restaurant, they do have the typical warm towel, so that's... That's a point. Menu, it's all right. We'll see how the food tastes. My, na my name's Adam LZ. We out here getting some ramen. What do you have? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this dude right here, 
like saw. Wait, <laughs> right here. He got. He got us. Look. Look at him. Look at him chomping down. He saw us and he's like, hey, I know who we are. It looks mildly authentic, although I'm not used to these seed things that I'm seeing. on some tea. As you thought, I had some fun. I was practicing getting used to the uh, no lift shift feature on my car. I think it's set up through a watt box. That's how it was. I don't know if it still is or if it's something through MHD that's like in beta. But either way, uh, I feel like I'm getting a little bit better at it and I think it's really gonna help when I end up taking that car to the drag strip. Help what? Help lower my time or help break drivetrain components? I don't know, but we're on to some seat stuff tonight. You guys remember I got the seat for the Mustang. Didn't really care too much for it, made me sit too low. But I thought we'd give it a shot in the BMW. It has red stitching, so it might look okay. I don't know. I had to go to the hardware store and pick up some stainless hardware. Um, I didn't have the stuff that comes with the bride seat because I bought some used seats once and it didn't come with them, whatever. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So anyway, I'm just dropping the hardware in. It's nice just using bride rails with the bride seat. Simple, self-explanatory. I don't really need to document it much. Bolting it together. Time to remove the red leather that I so desperately wanted in this car. These seats are actually mega heavy, as you'll see. Um, I'm assuming it's pretty simple, just like all other seats, and there's probably two bolts in front, two in the rear, but of course it's a BMW, so we got fancy Allen things. If you're wondering, for some reason, if you need to go buy tools or whatever, it is a T50. I think these seats have airbags, I'm pretty sure. I know they have like air bolsters, but I don't know if they have airbags in them, but it's a pretty common safe procedure. Just go ahead and unplug the battery whenever you're doing anything with anything that could potentially be airbag related, especially in a BMW. With the battery disconnected, we can now just tilt the seat back carefully, and then it looks like there's just one plug underneath this seat. You gotta be careful when you're removing stock seats because the rails are very easy to cut stuff, and I know that these are not light at all. Oh my god. Holy crap, I think these weigh like 50 pounds. Now we get the fun part of cleaning up the carpet before we reinstall. Now I know they make a module that plugs in here so the car doesn't freak out because it doesn't have a seat connected and display warning lights on the dash. I don't have that yet so I'm gonna have to do that after the fact. But, uh, I do plan on doing that. Oh, is the fun part. I was able to remove the seat belt um, whole module from the actual seat and this will actually just plug into that so we can at least let it know that I do have my seatbelt on. Thoroughly impressed with how nice that just bolts up to an aftermarket seat. Looks rad. Seat is definitely lighter. How much? Uh, I'd say maybe 10 pounds lighter. Not a crazy amount since it's still a uh, reclinable seat. Does look like it is going to sit a bit lower which is to be expected. I will probably need washers though where it mounts to the actual car. Kinda looks cool, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't know how I was gonna feel about it. As to be expected, I do sit a little bit lower. I think I'm a bit more comfortable. Oh, rip.
at my camera. Is it number 17 or something? I do feel like I'm a little bit closer to this side rather than I was before, but um, feels nice. I like sitting lower in cars, so feels pretty cool. I'll have to get out of the car to see what it looks like in the car, but. I feel like with the red stitching, it actually doesn't look too out of place. I'll have to figure out if I like it and decide if I want to get another one or not, or if I want to get different seats. But since I had this seat and it was just laying there, I figured I might as well put it in the BMW. The rail wasn't that expensive and it fits nice. And the red stitching does kind of complement it well. Um, I realize, obviously I'll have to drive it around so you guys know what I think. But um, this is the day of the upload. It does look really cool from here. Just seeing the thin profile of the seat. I always dig that, looks cool. But anyway, um, I realized I didn't really give you guys a consensus on that place. I think it's called Domu Ramen. It was good. It was good ramen. I'm gonna end, I'm gonna end you guys with that uh, tomorrow. Technically today, because I'm filming day of. Um, I'm not gonna be filming, I'm just gonna take a chill break and just kinda hang out. By that, I mean just catch up on house stuff and kinda relax, reset so you can start the week off hard. So you won't be seeing a video tomorrow. Sorry about that. But I feel like we've had some good uploads. And uh, yeah, I'd like to get this thing with a proper seat in it. Go drive it around a bit. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.